Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It's a very tough and very unique problem. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and uh, name of this problem is falling, falling Drop in the Mist. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are INPHO Foundation for JE 2023 20, uh, uh, and JE Advance. And this is a very unique course and uh, completely different and one of its kind in whole of India. So those who are looking for uh, solid JE Foundation and uh, Olympiad preparation, they can uh, uh, look for this batch. And guys, another amazing course of uh, Unacademy is starting tomorrow, uh, sorry, day after tomorrow. Uh, which is uh, advanced problem solving for j advanced 2021 and last year it was the biggest hit in uh, on an academy platform among the students so this year also it is going to be on uh, similar kinds so those who are looking for uh, rank improvement in j advanced 2021 uh, can definitely look at uh, this course and uh, guys my advanced course on electrostatics for j uh, 2022 in English is starting on uh, uh, 12th March and you can access my theory courses uh, which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation and you can uh, unlock courses on an academy or whether it is a test series or a class or uh, uh, any other uh, course you can uh, access by using my code Nathan sir and for an academy subscription also you can use this code and for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the statement of this magical problem and it's quite tough quite challenging a spherical raindrop falls from rest through a uniform stationary mist its radius r increases from uh, an initial value r not by uh, accretion of all the mist that the drop encounters prove that in absence of air drag the acceleration of the drop varies with r according to and this is the relation which is given for acceleration as a function of r we have to prove that it is g by 7 1 plus 6 times r naught by r to the power 7 uh, now uh, some assumption we have to make here uh, this assumption was not mentioned in the uh, problem though I feel it was uh, very much necessary. Assume that the drop remains spherical during the motion and that means whatever mist it gets, it, it's, it is redistributed very quickly on a spherical drop and that all the time uh, the spherical uh, shape is maintained. So concept wise uh, guys you can uh, understand very easily mechanical energy of the system is not conserved as accumulation of uh, mist on the drop is similar to inelastic collision perfectly inelastic collision where two bodies will stick to each other so let's analyze the motion of this uh, drop here at any time t uh, let's say drop is uh, having a speed of v and its radius uh, has become r and uh, density of uh, water is uh, rho rho w and density of the mist is rho mist now these two terms I am assuming from my side so it should get cancelled in the end. So as this uh, spherical drop is passing uh, through this uh, you can see uh, it is going to uh, take in dt time it is going to take v dt length of this uh, mist. So overall we can say here uh, that this volume is nothing but pi r square into this v dt right so i can say the mass which is uh, sticking to the drop it is a row of mist pi r square v times dt so from here dm by dt i can write row mist pi r square v v is the instantaneous velocity at the same time at any time t i can write the mass of the drop uh, by using density of water here now because the mist is once it uh, it is sticking to the drop it converts into water so here you can say mist is nothing but the small droplets of water in the air. So this mass m here I can write this as uh, rho water into 4 by 3 pi r cube. I am assuming this uh, shape remains spherical. So when I differentiate this relation I am going to get uh, rho water uh, 4 by 3 pi 3 r square dr by dt. When I simplify I am going to get this dr by dt term in terms of instantaneous velocity v and it is rho m by 4 rho w times v all right 
Now, uh, I can use impulse momentum uh, theorem here. The net external force on this uh, uh, drop is mg. So this mg is equal to d by dt of uh, change in linear momentum of this drop. So when I substitute the value of this rho, rho, rho w into 4 by 3 pi r cube g, this becomes d by dt of rho w 4 by 3 pi r cube uh, times v. So I am going to get another important equation d by dt of uh, r cube v by uh, is equal to g r cube. After that, as you know, dr by dt I have. So the very first idea which I will get in mind is uh, to differentiate this uh, equation. But when you differentiate this, things get very complicated and uh, I had a tough time in uh, solving it uh, by regular uh, uh, method of uh, differential equations. So here you have to make some uh, arrangements. Now if you see this part, dt is coming, I'll try to eliminate this dt. So if I write this, uh, uh, I'll divide by dr, I'll multiply by dr. Now this is uh, dr by dt, this value I can substitute from here. So when I substitute it, you will puzzle that uh, such a nice method because I have used a similar method many times in chain problems uh, in uh, variable mass systems. Uh, so from there, this idea clicked in and uh, I was like, wow. So you can also try to think whenever uh, things becomes little difficult by regular uh, solving, uh, such uh, out of the box methods will uh, definitely come in mind. Uh, provided you have been practicing such type of problems. So when I substitute the value of this dr by dt and uh, I'll take this v this side, right? And uh, here uh, v times d r cube v 4 rho w g by rho m r cube dr. Now if somehow I multiply this uh, side with r cube so that it is like t dt so that I can integrate this part entire because solving separately is very difficult. So I'll multiply this r cube this side. Now it will be like t and this is dt. So uh, solving is possible. And I have multiplied with the r cube this side as well. Uh, so if you see when I do that, this becomes r to the power 6 and this becomes r cube v. So it's like uh, t dt. You can see here it is like t and this is dt. And now uh, at t equal to 0, when r was r0, velocity was 0. So this particular quantity is 0. So lower limit is 0 here. And at any instant of uh, t, when the r value was general r and uh, v was general v. So this limit goes from 0 to r cube v. And uh, here it goes from r0 to general r. So when I simplify this, this square by 2 will come this is square by 2 and here constant terms I'll take outside and this will become r to the power 7 minus r naught to the power 7 by 7. Further, when I uh, substitute the value of, I'm not explaining this, this is very simple now. So you will be getting this v square is equal to uh, some constant terms. Please remember, I have to eliminate this rho water and no rho mist. It should not come in my answer. So when I different, uh, when I substitute the value of uh, this, I'll be getting some constant times r minus r naught to the power seven by r to the power six. Now if I differentiate this, this two will be as it is, and it will become two v dv by dt, and the constant terms are outside. And uh, here one plus this will become uh, r to the power minus six. You can take here so six into r to the power minus seven, which I can write like this times dr by dt. Again, I'll be substituting the value of dr by dt and you'll be so happy to see the final answer here. This half of uh, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. This becomes v dv by dt and uh, 4 rho w by rho m by 7 g and 1 plus 6 r naught to the power 7 by r to the power 7 and uh, this dr by dt is rho m by 4 rho w times v. So this extra v also gets cancelled and this uh, rho m by 4 rho w is also getting cancelled and a very nice answer is going to come acceleration a of the drop as a function of r comes as g by 7 1 plus 6 r naught by r to the power 7 and this is going to be the final answer for this problem guys i hope you have enjoyed it was uh, uh, it, it is a very dear problem to me and uh, every time i try this i enjoy this problem i hope this is the case with you as well 
something very interesting very unusual in this problem especially this step so i'll just uh, those who are my students in uh, regular students of my class i think they will remember in the chain problems also i have i have discussed such type of methods so if you are able to solve this problem please leave your comment and if you have enjoyed this problem and the solution please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up with another amazing problem very soon thank you thanks for watching it